Let us take a look at the step-by-step -step procedure for the bullseye technique. Bullseye technique by and large is the most easy to learn, replicate and is advisable that you learn this technique above all other techniques. It is a good technique for the novice. We would be learning the right renal puncture as seen from the caudal view of the patient. First you should inspect the pelvic alicial system with contrast in 0 degrees using the fluoroscopy unit. Then identify the posterior calyx by rotating the fluoroscopy from 0 degrees to 30 degrees keeping the fluoroscopy on. The calyx which moves relatively medially is the posterior calyx. Once identified, select the desired posterior calyx for puncture. Ask for apnea in expiration. Turn the C-arm to approximately 30 degrees. C-arm can additionally be rotated craniad or caudad to bring it more in line with the axis of the infundibulum of the selected calyx. Make a skin stab over the desired calyx. So now the target calyx, the skin stab and the C-arm camera all lie in a single straight line. Logically, if the needle is passed along the same direction it will reach the calyx. Insert the initial puncture needle in line with the direction of the C-arm and penetrate the parodies. Rotate the initial puncture needle in a spiral fashion under fluoroscopy to turn it into a point. Thus the initial puncture needle now looks like a bull's eye the initial puncture needle would lie in the line connecting the C-arm to the calyx. Maintaining the bullseye the needle is inserted till the kidney moves or jiggles. This indicates the needle tip reaching the renal capsule. In order to confirm the depth of penetration, rotate the C-arm back to zero degree. Use zero degrees fluoroscopy to assess the depth of puncture and further insert the needle into the calyx. Confirm the puncture with free flow of urine. 